All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys some solo queue advice. And this is not necessarily going to be an, an exclusively a tips video. I'm going to be doing some live commentary over this year consulate game. So I'm going to be trying to give you guys some advice because you guys have been asking me a lot in the comments. What operators you guys should be playing for solo queue, any tips for solo queue, how do you rank up in solo queue, etc, etc. So today I'm going to do my best to try to give you guys some advice. But I will say... Let me just spoil it here. The number one thing you guys can do, okay? If you want to rank up, you want to improve, you want to get better, etc. You have to join a five stack, guys. You have to. You cannot solo queue. This game is based around teamwork, coordination, and communication. Those three things. And when you're solo queuing, you take all of those things away. And I'm gonna I'm gonna explain that over the course of this video here but you guys absolutely have got to join a five stack if you can now fortunately for you guys because i know you're already typing in the comments well i can't find a five stack where do you find players to play with don't worry i've already got the solution for you guys i created the biggest community resource in siege six shot academy the link will be in the description we've got all your favorite content creators in there jinxie braction revolt robbie royal penguin and effects myself the list goes on and on guys more on that later though the link will be down below in the description but first off let's talk about operators guys what operators should you be picking we're on attack here first so i'm gonna go ahead and pick osa i like to play osa when i'm solo queuing because she's got a great gun the pdw's got like 50 rounds in the mag 34 damage 800 fire rate you put a compensator on this thing no recoil okay the pmm is a great secondary and for your secondary gadget You've got smokes, claymores, or EMPs. So you can really do a lot with OC. You've got a lot of utility and you can really do a lot of different things. So when you're looking at the operators on the board when you're solo queuing, it's important to understand that your teammates are not there to help you. They, they, that's, just, that's just the truth, guys. I could go thermite right now. The site could be downstairs. I could go thermite. I could be sitting at the wall waiting to get it open and I don't have a single teammate that brings secondary emp gadgets not a single teammate that goes above and gets the kate off the wall etc and in that instance i went thermite to try to pick for the team and it bit me in the ass right so my goal this is my personal goal when i'm solo queuing is just to try to pick an operator that i feel very comfortable playing and then i could do multiple different things so with osa for example i can not only bring claymores to watch my runouts if i choose to repel on any of these windows but if they're downstairs, I could rotate to my team and help them if we go thermite, etc. So I can still help my team, but I can also play solo. And look, first teammate is dead, not even 20 seconds into the round. Just tomorrow in and he's dead. Welcome to solo queue, guys. You have to escape this. Not even 30 seconds in, another teammate down. You guys gotta escape this solo queue. All right, so let's go ahead and drone here. I've got the bomb. I don't really want to have the bomb, but it is what it is. So we got a warden on yellow. Honestly, I'm just going to try to frag out at this point. I'm suspecting that someone might try to hop out of these windows on Blackbeard. Yep. Yep. There you go, guys. Try to always play off your teammates. See where your teammates are, right? I saw my teammates on this window, and what did I tell you guys? I think someone's going to try to hop out on him. Why? Because... Their teammates are calling out. Blackbeard on bathroom window. Somebody jump out. Right? So you want to you try to identify those. You want to try to play off your teammates. Find where your teammates are and try to play off of them. See, we're going to watch this run out again for this guy while he drones us in. Nice. Okay. We're gonna push up with the shield. Okay, it looks like there's one flanking us. We're gonna place a shield on our flank. That way we can defend against this a little bit easier. I don't hear him. All right, we're gonna push up now. This is why I love Osa. You just walk around and bully people. All right, I see one guy. We're just gonna place this shield down. Nothing he can really do about it. Where is this? There's still one below, I hear it. Alright, so we're just gonna chill. Remember, we, we got these Osa shields. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're 
We're not good. We're not good. We're not good. I was just had. I really just had to bait somebody into peeking there, cause I had a I had a mozzie flanking me, and they had a dual crossfire here. I should have just swung the. I should have swung the oryx there. But yeah, you guys can already see. This is a struggle, guys. Look look at the scoreboard here. Kill kills aren't everything. Kills don't really matter that much. It is a team game, but we had no teamwork going there. And we had no kills going there. So that that last round was a perfect example of why solo queue is a complete nightmare. So going back to what I was mentioning with Six Shot Academy, it's the biggest siege community resource. It's a community full of like-minded players. Only ranked tryhards in there. Only people that actually want to improve. Nobody in there that's going to be a Mar rushing like we had last round. Just a Mar rushing into sight, dying. None of that. Everybody's going to be trying. Everybody's trying to improve. And you've got all your favorite creators in there trying to help you improve as well giving you some coaching we can do vod reviews in there we do all sorts of stuff in the server so if you guys are interested in that make sure you guys check out six shot academy with the link below we're gonna be doing some games in there later today so if you guys would like to join consider joining link in the description it's a one-time small payment gives you lifetime access to all the creators the server and the course as well and that's also Lifetime access to all of the content that we're going to be adding to it over time as well. Because we do have a new line of videos planned, etc, etc. But the bomb site is downstairs now. So like I was saying, the great thing about OSA is we are going to be able to push with the team here. And try to get the uh, cades off the wall or whatever it might be off the wall. And then we could also place our shields outside the breach. And we kind of just let our team do their thing at that point. And we can go off and just frag out. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna like give them one of my shields. Let's give them the left side shield. Why not? Place a shield here because I'm guessing we're gonna try to plant back there. Let me drone to figure out. So he's Cade tricking. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Wall's open. Now we can rotate. That was actually some good teamwork there. I can't lie. I'm actually very surprised. Solo Q surprising me. That's going to be Warden. That was the best teamwork I've ever had in solo queue of all time. Oh, no. Guys, if I died to a thorn trap, that would have been embarrassing. That's Cade. That's Oryx. All right, that was a pretty good round. That was a pretty good round. Yo, see, look what happens though. Night and day difference. The first round, no teamwork. The second round, teamwork. We didn't even have communication or coordination there. We just had like a loose plan. Everybody just knew we need to get the wall open. Imagine if you had, you know, actual communication and coordination there. That's what's so important about a five stack. So you guys may be asking, what are some other good attacking operators for solo queue? Well, Sledge is a great one. Zof is good, right? Nomad is good. Yana is good. There are a ton of solo queue operators that you guys can be picking. You can really make pretty much any operator work as a solo queue operator. It just, it, it just, like, it depends. Like, there's obviously going to be a few exceptions. You're not going to want to play Thermite solo that often. It's, it's not that fun. You know, someone like Zof, like, if you're looking at an operator, for example, and, and you're trying to de determine whether or not they're good for solo queue or not, one of the best things is, like, okay, are you comfortable with their gun? Yes or no? And then do they have a good amount of like secondary utility? So like Zof has breach charges or claymore. That's a lot you could do with that. Like I mentioned, you could you could place the claymores for your repel jump outs. You can use the breach charges to go and play vertical above the site. Same with Nomad, right? You can use breach charges, play vertical above the site, use your gadget to air jab off your flanks. There's a lot of different ways you could play the game. So I think when people ask me what is the best operator, I don't think there's such thing as the best operator. I think there is there's just better operators for better situations or for di different situations. All right, I'm going to try to help these guys again. Easy as that. We love secondary EMPs. All right, time to rotate. Wait, did I see feed last second? No. All right, time to rotate again. I'm going to play yellow. I love playing yellow stairs. I don't know what it is. I just love playing yellow. Alright, let's try and get some intel. Because if you ever are not sure what to do, the best thing to do is to drone and get some intel. 
All right, so nobody's pipes. Looks like there's gonna be one on the desk looking through those holes. We've got one white van. Probably one above then. Oh, yep, there's one above. All right, that was that was maybe poor droning. Oh no, it looks like he was running there in the kill cam. Damn. Well, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> that's what, that's one of those times where maybe I should have walked in with the shield. Who knows? I wanted to clear that barbed wire though. They got two people off site right now. They've got Thorn Spiral Stairs and Cade Top Yellow. So there's only two on site. This is the easiest uh, flash run in, trade the Azami out. All right, we're, looks like we're, we're pivoting the push. I think I think these guys are all in a Discord call. I think that's what it is because these guys seem to be like moving as a unit. I think they're all in a Discord call. And that can actually happen sometimes. Sometimes like you could solo queue and you've got a four stack on your team that's all talking to each other. They're all Z pinging. They've all got the call outs. And then you're the solo queue player like I am right now. And you find out, damn, they're getting call outs, but I'm not getting any call outs. It can happen. It can happen. Hey, hey, we're all guilty of it when we're five stacking. So what can we really say? Oh, Morty. Morty. Oh, the reload swing. All right, where are these call outs? Somebody plant. Oh, I think we win these. Oh yeah. Oh no. Poor Morty. We're all to safety, Morty. This is risky. Yep, that was risky. Wait, he should be. He should. Thorma should have ran left side. I think I placed a shield there. Yeah. I I placed the shield left side because people normally try to plant right side. So when you like, it's hard to cover the bomb from where he is. You see what I mean? Oh, the timing on that Thorn. Bro, look, Thorn was not, Thorn was looking at the drone. That's so unlucky. And then he started sprinting. All right, it's defense time. So let's talk about defense operators. What are some good defense operators? I love Smoke, Mute, Solus. These operators are great. You guys may have seen my video yesterday on the best combo in Siege, and that has got to be the shotgun SMG combo. It's so, so good. You can sort of pull it off here. Oryx is great. The T5 and the Bailiff. I love the, the shotgun SMG combo. Alibi is another good one. Now, you don't have to have a shotgun and an SMG to make a good solo queue defending operator, right? Absolutely not. But I will say it does make things a whole of a hell lot easier because what's going to happen a lot of the time is the randoms on your team are not going to open up specific things you want open. They're not going to make rotates where you want them. Uh, say you want hatches open somewhere and you don't you know you can't convince your teammates to run across the map and do that for you so there's a ton of different things that can happen and having a shotgun to just open everything up for you is so nice so that's one of the things i like to look at when i'm picking a, a defense operator when i'm solo queuing also love the beepers here from uh, oryx so i can actually like oh i can sort of hold multiple parts of the map with just audio and I like opening all the hatches here because it really likes it really lets me flank from anywhere. Like a lot of people sometimes people will like air jab off the the double door to piano and this door or whatever, but you can just like go up to the hatch. <laughs> I'll say that map plays a big uh, part in this as well though, because this is a, just a good map for Oryx. It's just an Oryx map. There's a lot of hatches, a lot of windows. Now that's not good. Thank God for that dash. There it is. I think there's one bathroom window, maybe. Op four, last operator standing. No. Yep. Yep. Oh my God, he's in for a Wait, what is this? Oh no, guys! If I had just looked up, that is that is some obtuse positioning. Can I just say? Okay, not not the Azami shotgun. A better angle right here. If you if he backs up and moves to the right behind the desk, you can shoot out the like part of the desk and look through it. It's a crazy angle. Oh no, he's coming back to the bathroom window. Oh, he's just going straight in. 
Oh my god. Nah. That was wild. That was actually wild. All right, I'm trying to debate whether I go Oryx or I go Alibi. Oryx is definitely the right choice, but for me right now, I'm debating between the gun. The reason I say Oryx is the better choice is because I could go through all the hatches. The bomb site's gonna be downstairs, so when I wanna roam, I could just like jump through all the hatches and flank really easily. Someone took Alibi, so they made the choice for me. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to play the, the T5 right now. Sometimes, honestly guys, I'll just be picking operators based off guns, you know? That's just the solo queue life, unfortunately. Also, can we, yo, can we get some comments? This has been disturbing me since last round. The, the walls are all different. Have you guys noticed this? The walls are all messed up. What's going on? <laughs> look at, look at these walls. I'm distracting me from my, my site setup. My quote unquote site setup. So I like to open up some holes here on yellow wall and here as well. If I go yellow stairs, I can make sure no one repels through there. This is good to open. Basically just open up all the windows, open up the hatch. If you open up here and you go on the other side of the hole, you get a better angle towards the front doors. Okay, so we lit someone up. Oh, not the Dokkabee call, guys. What are we gonna do? We'll go yellow side. I forgot to open the yellow window. This is a good window to open as well. All right, that's Dokkabee. I was getting real tired of that. Wait. It's right beneath me. That's a map. Ash was right beneath me. Nice. Let's go. I was tempted to jump out CEO window and kill the Ash. I probably should have. I probably should have. That was a pretty good game. All things considered. All things considered. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that full game there. So just to could quickly continue to break down Six Shot Academy for you guys. So you can see all the creators that we have. A part of the server it's a one-time fee you're gonna get lifetime access to the course 24 7 support from all of your favorite creators the cheater free 10 mans the community discord you're gonna be in all of our videos I actually record pretty much all my videos in six shot if I'm not doing these solo queue videos the group coaching VOD review, et cetera, et cetera. So here's the discord server you can see people are always asking me questions we're gonna be getting some games on here soon but yeah people are always asking questions you see we got Two rank stacks going right now. Looks like we got another one forming. We pretty much always have a rank stack going on in here. We just reached 300 members. So we have over 300 people in the server, pretty much always wanting to play. So if you guys are wanting a community of like-minded players to play with, learn with, and actually improve with, then consider joining Six Shot Academy, the biggest siege community resource ever made. The link is down below in the description. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so for this game, I'm not gonna be doing as much commentary. I did a whole lot of commentary. Gave you guys a whole lot of advice for the first game that we played for this video. But for this game, I'm just going to like focus up. I'm not really going to like go super try hard or anything, but I'm just going like, to try to put more focus into the game, into the actual gameplay. And then that way you guys can kind of watch that and try to see like, okay, well, he does this, he does that, et cetera, et cetera. Give you guys the like actual way that I play and I can actually think about what I'm doing instead of trying to constantly explain it. Also, if you guys have found this video useful, if you guys uh, have enjoyed the video so far, consider subscribing to the channel, like the video. It does help out the channel quite a bit. Make sure you guys turn notifications on if you haven't. I do post daily here on the channel, so if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys are subscribed, guys. Thank you, thank you. Oh, there was another one. Yeah, you weren't so you weren't so lucky, bro. You weren't so lucky, bro. Be advised. One up, four remaining. Wait, I couldn't even see him, bro. I hate when people go on that roof, guys. I hate that. I know I ran out, but I still hate it. Hey, let's go.
god, we're all here. Something tells me that's a bad idea. Oof. That poor guy. Spawn peeked him first round, did that to him next round. He's dead. Where's the last guy? He is here. What? Bro, this guy. What is this guy? <laughs> Lion. Come on, bro. Let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. I suck, I suck. No, I suck. I should have pushed the shotgun, guys. I should have pushed the shotgun. I'm so upset with myself. Honestly, like, the fact that a Sledge wasn't pushing and there was someone pushing Skybridge, I honestly thought that Sledge was going to be walking backwards, pushing bridge. Like, wanting to rotate the bridge window. But he was just, like, AFK on the angle. Wow. That man's crazy. These guys just these, these two guys just turned up all of a sudden. God damn. That was an interesting gunfight. <laughs> right, guys. Right, that's the only way to get rid of that one. What in God's name is that? Dude, is he all set up in here? Alright, well, that was a pretty good video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That's uh, some pretty successful solo queue games there. Hope you guys learned something. If you guys did, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe. Turn notifications on. Check out Six Shot Academy with the link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.